The Department of Homeland Security is warning of copycat attacks following the hostage standoff situation last month at a Texas synagogue. In a new terror threat bulletin, the, a the agency says supporters of foreign terrorist organizations have encouraged similar attacks. It also says the incident, quote, highlights the continuing threat of violence based upon racial or religious motivations, as well as threats against faith-based organizations. The agency mentions the recent bomb threats directed at historically black colleges and universities, those incidents, in addition to attacks on Jewish facilities and churches, are causing concern over extremist violence. You know, the timing is concerning at the least. Uh, now back to that DHS warning. We mentioned that supporters of foreign terrorist organizations are pushing for copycat attacks. Uh, do you know more who might be behind these threats? Tell us what you found. One of the things that Homeland Security officials are particularly concerned about is the greater level of specificity in calls for targeted violence against faith-based institutions, government buildings, institutions of higher learning, as we just mentioned in recent days, calls specifically for mass shootings, the use of vehicles, or what we call car attacks, knife attacks, and comments by ISIS and al-Qaeda-aligned commentators online point to Colleyville as a shining example of the types of attacks that should be carried out within the United States. Analysts at DHS have also seen reflections on white supremacist platforms that noted that the hostage taker in that case didn't kill anyone, raising concerns of even more lethal violence in the future. So we're beginning to see a real blending of ideologies here in the threat environments online echo chamber, both foreign and domestic threat actors engaging on extremist platforms, including encrypted apps. The primary terrorism-related threat to the U.S. continues to stem from lone offenders or small individuals, uh, small cells of individuals, rather, according to that bulletin. And those kinds of warnings are hard for federal law enforcement to spot. There's less dots for them to connect prior to attacks. Just to give you a, a sense of the threat environment, the ADL, their most recent audit of anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S., recorded more than 2,100 acts of assault, van vandalism, harassment, an increase of 12 percent over the previous year. Cyber threats in particular have ticked up with concerns now that increases in live streaming of religious services amid the pandemic will further inspire attackers who view streaming online as a way of amplifying their actions. In fact, leaders from historically black colleges and universities spoke out today at a panel held by the Southern Poverty Law Center. That's a group that tracks extremist threats. And two things really stood out to me. One, beyond physical security enhancements, these schools are going to need further mental health resources for students that are now processing racially motivated bomb threats on their campuses already amid this very stressful pandemic time and more generally a time of heightened racial tensions in the United States. And two, given that the FBI's early investigation... Brakata Yehawa, Brakata Yehawa Sha, call hello Yehawa by Shimi Hawa by Shimmer Kaku Dash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the talking this truth, and much respect to the Akim Atel Abed and his work, and also to the believers that across the four corners of the earth, the whole elect in the USA, Shalom. So yeah, we in them times, man, you know? We definitely in them times, and um, we got to be excited about it as well. Even though we're in dangerous times, we got to be excited if you are in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, you know, because we fully expect Esau to come in uh, like a madman sparing none. But also we expect a standard to be lifted from Yahweh by Shemel Shah to protect the elect. And that's what this truth is all about, all right? Receiving mercy from Yahweh by Shemel Shah in a form of having a hedge, you know, during the time when this 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 uh this Edomite comes in with his wrath to exterminate Jacob, you know, one last time. So <laughs> you know, beside what Esau's doing, you gotta look at what the Lord is doing, all right? Because he controls both sides, the left and the right, and he's moving the chess pieces uh and creating the scenario for Esau to allow himself to come in feeling justified after the Israelites, <laughs> all right? And they're going to come with everything that they got, understanding the power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, okay? There's a reason why these devils are eyeing us out 
spying on us, creating these new laws and legislations is because they fear the power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And so going back to what the Lord is doing, he is he's baiting in Esau. All right. Now Esau is going to be the hunted because he's taking a bait. <laughs> all right. He's taking his own bait. And when he comes in like a flood, as the scriptures say, then the Lord is going to checkmate this guy. All right. And you got to believe that. You know, through faith. So to prove that statement or that point, let's go to Romans 9 and 17. All right, Romans 9 and 17, for the script itself under Pharaoh, ancient Pharaoh, right? Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. So just like the Lord raised up or rose up ancient Pharaoh to destroy him, to show his power, well, he did the same thing for Esau. Rose him up to this great power, and now the Lord is going to show his power and take him out of power. All right, so even for the same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. This is the glorification of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right. His name will be exalted once more forever, just like it was after ancient Egypt. You see? So let's go ahead and get Ecclesiastes, right? One and nine. Okay. It's nothing new on the sun. Ecclesiastes one and nine. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, it is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. All right. Just to set that. That tone, all right? So whatever happened back in ancient Egypt is going to happen this time, but even greater. So let's see what the Lord did back then. And this is what gives us comfort during these times, the ones that dwell within this council. All right, so Exodus 14, verse 14. It says, The Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shah shall fight for you, all right? And ye shall hold your peace. <laughs> and to the right, it says, just stay calm. <laughs> Just be still, man, and know that the Lord is going to fight for you. All right. The hedge of protection around the elect is going to be um, to save us. All right. Due to miracles. All right. The chariots. So going down to verse 17, we're reading the NLT to the right. And he says, now we'll harden the hearts of the Egyptians. All right. This is what the Lord did to these ancient Egyptians. This is what he's doing to Esau. He's hardening the hearts of the modern day Egyptians. It says, and they would charge in after the Israelites. That's Isaiah 59 and 19. Them coming in like a flood. They're being baited. See, my great glory will be displayed through Pharaoh and his troops, his chariots and his chariots. <laughs> and why is this going to be done? Verse 18. When my glory is displayed through them, all Egypt will see my glory and know that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And a lot of that glory is going to be shown through his men. You know, right now we're going through like a trial phase to see who's worthy enough to or for the Lord to bestow that power through. OK. And Esau is scared shitless, man. This guy's he's going to come with everything that he has. You see. So from now, let's go to. um. Let's see. Let's go to Second Chronicles. All right. It's the reason why we're seeing chairs or right, the chairs are watching, you know, they take and report, but they also hear. All right. First and foremost is to protect the elect. Second Chronicles 16 and 9 for the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the eyes of the chariots run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Have not we been seeing chairs everywhere? They run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Same thing that got Esau terrified. To show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart or mind is perfect toward him. Okay. And this is going to be for the elect, the ones that abide within the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, the ones that believe on Yahweh Shai through faith. You know, they're going to be protected in that time. Not you Israelites who jump from camp to camp. You seek justification by the law. All right. You, you pretty much, um, you know, disregarding his beloved son, Yahweh Shah, where well, you're going to be taken in that day because you won't have that protection from his son, Yahweh Shah. All right. So that's pretty much the point on that. All right. He's, he's going to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. All right. The ones that seek the Lord, where well, they're going to be uh, protected as simple as that. OK. And also the Lord, like I was just saying, the Lord's going to show his power through certain men. Who will be raised up to display that. 
those spiritual gifts. Isaiah 40 and verse 29, he gave it power to the faint. All right, we faint now, but the Lord's going to boost up our spirit. Okay, <laughs> some men are going to be charged up. And to them that have no might, he increase of strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall early fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, all right, they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah shall, shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up at, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Okay, and we believe that this is going to happen on this side. And it has to happen. A standard has to be lifted. You know, <laughs> just considering what Esau has with his technology, you know, that should give you even more faith. You know, you should think to yourself like, God damn, Esau got all that. I want what the Lord is going to do to counter that, you know, because they're coming for us, man. First Peter 4 and 17. All right. So Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. You how about Shemal Shai from the West. And that's what we're doing now. The hopeful elect and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy should come in like a flood. All right. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shai shall lift up a standard against him. And if you want to get a glimpse of what these devils are doing and what they're planning, go and watch the movie Siege. All right. You had so-called terrorists who were bombing shit. All right. Causing all this chaos and had the cities in fear to the point where they said, hey, we need to bring in everything that we got. To corral this problem. So that same scenario is being built up right now. And what they were doing is they were, they were going around snatching up, you know, individuals that fit the report of uh, ISIS. All right. People that look like ISIS. OK. <laughs> so, of course, we're going to be lumped into that category. And if you don't have the covering of Yahweh Shai, well, you're going to be ass out, man. All right. So verse 20 says, And the Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, said the Lord. So he's only coming for the ones that turn from transgression in Jacob. And that's not going to be according to keeping the law 100%, but rather through the faith of Yahweh Shai. Understand that we're sick and we need to be helped. All right. <laughs> These are the ones whose heart is going to be perfect towards Yahweh Shai. Okay. So yeah, when these troops... When they issue in martial law due to this madness or whatever it may be, then the Lord will raise up their standard when they come in. Because Second Peter 16 and 68 says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Okay? <laughs> you Israelites. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. All right, so submitting to this devil, all right, you're going to be uh, in a reproach. Any 501c3 contract, any kind of alignment that you got with this government, you know, to teach this gospel, you're going to be trodden on the foot. For there should be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. It says a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none. It's going to be killed on sight, man, you see, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay, because Yahweh Shai said that ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Okay. We're going to be the hunted. <laughs> but again, this is the Lord. All right. He's going to call Esau to, Esau to come in like that to take away the undesirables. And some men who believe are going to be martyrs as well. But the majority of the elect will be protected. Okay, 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And then shall they be known who are my chosen. All right. And they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. All right. This is the hopeful elect. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. You see. Miraculous power, spiritual powers. The Lord is drawing his man in like we just got in Exodus 14 and 17. So he can show his power and be glorified. So be ye not afraid and neither doubt. For Yahweh by Shemel Shai is your God. G-U-I-D-E. And we're guided by what? The scriptures. That's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, this book in its entirety. 
All right, this testimony said the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay, showing you that you're going to have men who are sinners here who are going to be saved. All right, so you're not going to justify yourself by saying that you can keep the law. <laughs> all right, so if you sin and we understand that we sin, you know, but ultimately we look towards Yahweh Shai because we need healing. You know, so don't let your sins weigh you down and don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. OK, you got to be temperate as well. You know, we all need to be temperate and examine ourselves during this time. All right, because shit about to go down, man. You know, the Passover coming up. And um, there's no telling what these devils are going to try to do. But we understand that an elect are going to be saved from wrath through Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's pretty much it, man. All right. Lord willing, you're edified. Until next time, I say, Shalom.